Well, I got everything packed up. Just kind of getting ready to go. That storm, that storm in the north, gone. There's a bunch of lightning and stuff like that with it. A bunch of heat here, a bunch of thunder. Saw a little bit of lightning. Man, did I linger this morning. I All I had was basically cold cereal. And I just kind of sat there and sipped my coffee and just enjoyed the enjoyed the view and just relaxed. should be a nice paddle here today. I don't know if I'm, I wanted to try and get to Reindeer Lake or try to really push it and get as many kilometers in as I can. But after how I felt last night, I think I just might do my 20 and then just kind of pack it in. Oh, it's starting to rain. Uh, this cloud looks kind of ominous. Hearing thunder and not seeing lightning is one thing, you know, I, I don't mind paddling close to shore for that. But when you see big things, oh, here it comes again. Big things, big flashes of lightning. And, uh, Don't feel safe anywhere. If you can see me. That was a little freaking hairy. Um, I just skidded around the edges of the of the lake. The potage wasn't too far away, so I'm kind of here right now. This is what the potage looks like. Alright, 
Off to the next portage. That was awesome. I didn't even have to take my equipment out. That was just a quick, like, 50 meter drag. The other one I just did before this one was, I think, I don't know, about 400 meters. It was just over 400 meters. So I got two options here. I can do this little short guy, but I don't know if there's a portage trail. Then there's this big long trail, and I think that belongs to a trap line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check out this little wee one. And if that doesn't work, I'm just gonna flip around and go and do that one. Take a peek. <clears throat> I might be able to line down. Or there's a nice rock outcrop to the left here. Freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, I can charge pretty easily through here. I'll uh, walk my gear through here first, grab a saw and kind of clear it up just a tad, tad bit. Uh, it shouldn't be any kind of problem. It's going to be easier than a, a kilometer portage that probably goes through Muskeg and God knows what else. Probably alders. Shitty ass alders. Pretty sweet. But I love the walleye fish here. Looks like there's uh, more thunderstorms on the way. Especially this guy right there. Hopefully they miss me. They stay over to what direction is that? Like to the north, northeast.
Always a good feeling. I decided to start going down the rapids. Um, I can't hear you, buddy. I'll basically just kind of line my canoe down. It'll allow me. This bottom's full of cobble, so it's actually not bad to walk on. It's not like big, huge rocks right now. So it's pretty nice in here, this spot anyway. But I had to laugh because I, as I was chopping through the bush, saw something blue. And I was like, I thought maybe it was something tarped. And uh, they're doing bear baiting. I guess there must be an outfitter around here or just a local yokel doing some hunting because there are a few cabins upstream or downstream a little bit. And there's the, the roost. But at least uh, I think there's a bit of a portage built for me. At least I can uh, shimmy on through that. That's no problem. There's a cabin up ahead. I'm going to maybe try and stay there. I'm assuming there's a good camping spot there. Or if I can find a nice spot to camp here. I'll set up a tarp and chill out for the rest of the night. Anyway, smell you later. This is just one of those days. I'm just kind of setting up camp. Got a fire going. Just kind of getting got my tent up, got my tarp up. And uh, just kind of getting ready. We got a there's a cabin and stuff like that here I uh, just took a look inside the cabin it's very homey so I just closed the door right away I felt bad even looking inside I'm just kind of using their yard I guess tenting in their yard right now to spend the night because there was just really once I got down from that last set of rapids there was really just no campsites that were any good and it was just storming out constantly I've never seen so many thunderstorms roll through in a day. I started like as soon as I left, ended up like right before I got here. It finally, it just stopped. So, and then if you look towards the east, there was just still more going on. Like, it finally looks like it might be done. It still looks like it's raining over in some spots, but what a hell of a day.